What's up family? This is Corey Maria back at it again with another video and today I'm going to be talking with you all about updates going on in my life regarding college. I know you guys love to see um, college content from me so this is just another update on UMish, what we're doing for the fall, how they're handling COVID in case you guys didn't know. I will also be letting you guys know whether or not I'm going back to finish off my senior year in Ann Arbor or if I'm staying home. So without further ado, let's just hop right in. We're not wasting any time today. So as you all may know, mid-March was the last time I was actually on University of Michigan's campus and I haven't touched the campus since. And since then, I've just been working from home. I've been working virtually. I finished out my classes virtually. I'm doing my internship virtually. But anyways, as far as the University of Michigan's plans for the fall go, so they have decided ultimately on a hybrid approach, which is a combination of in-person and online classes. And they also noted that about 70% of the university's courses are online and the rest are in-person. Whether or not these classes are in-person, really depend on their size. Smaller classes tend to be in person or a hybrid situation and then larger classes are strictly held online. I guess the good thing is you know if they didn't give us this it would kind of just be like a violation of our rights um, as students as people but they do give um, you the option to opt out completely out of in-person classes and stay home and just you know go to school virtually as they should. On the other hand of things, tuition has increased, okay? Uh, you miss, you wrong for that, but tuition has increased. Um, I'm really not sure if we've been there a year where the tuition hasn't increased so I think it's just a big deal now because of COVID and they basically people are upset that the university is increasing the tuition in the midst of a pandemic. Um, I'm kind of hurt two that that's going on but that's pretty much as much as i know on that um but yes tuition has indeed increased so when we get back to campus life they said they're going to be um giving us these welcome back packages but what it consists of is i think two bandanas a face mask and some hand sanitizer all of them with umish signs on them this is the world that we live in our colleges are literally handing out welcome packages in the form of face masks and hand sanitizer What's going on? What's the real problem? Should we should we really be going back to campus if, if that if that's the case? Mm. I sent out an email basically telling all the students to quarantine two weeks prior to coming back on campus just to mitigate the spread. And they're also having us um, check our temperatures twice a day, a few weeks before coming back to campus as well. I guess my thing is you're dealing with a whole bunch of you know irresponsible for the most part. Some of y'all responsible, but irresponsible college kids, like how certain is it that they will do, you know, their temperature checks that they were quarantined for two weeks prior to coming back on campus? Y'all, I don't know how this is going to turn out, but it doesn't sound good. It sounds like we shouldn't be back on campus. That's what it sounds like. But anyways, I digress. And then people who live in dorms, they have to test negative for COVID in order to live in the dorms, which, you know, I don't blame them for it. Uh, you have a lot of you have a lot of different people living in dorms, and if y'all have ever lived in a dorm, you know how quick a cold spreads, specifically in a dorm bathroom, because you're using the same showers, the same sinks, the same bathrooms as these people with colds. So I don't blame them for doing a COVID check. But once they settle in, I'm curious to see like how COVID stays out with kids traveling on and off campus and. <sighs> So I know a lot of y'all clicked on this video because you're curious to see, you know, what I'm going to be doing come fall. I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm going to be as honest as I possibly can be. Baby, I'm tied into a lease. I got to go back. Okay. I am tied into a lease. So 
I'm going back to Ann Arbor. I'm moving into a one bedroom apartment. I'm moving in there in the next two weeks, so that's pretty exciting. So as far as my schedule goes for schooling in the fall, I so far have two hybrid classes and three online classes. I might just switch my entire schedule to um, online classes. I don't know. A lot of that is still up in the air. I'm still thinking it through. I'm not trying to be sick in Ann Arbor by myself. Y'all feel what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not trying to put myself at risk, put others at risk. So I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with my classes. So yeah, like I said, I'm tied into a lease. So I will be returning in the fall, primarily because this is my last year at the University of Michigan and I want to kind of finish out my senior year on campus. However that might look, I really want to be on campus. I know Big Ten, you know, has been canceled and everything. So that kind of puts a damper on everything. But I still want to be there nonetheless. And if everything goes sour, baby, I'm going home. I'm hoping that campus facilities such as libraries, unions open back up so that we can go in there and study and stuff because that is a part of why I'm going back because I can't really focus that well at home. I did hear that the unions are opening up with special practices in place, so that's good. I'm gonna let other people test it out first and then I'm gonna go, so y'all know, y'all know how that works. College of Engineering has already informed us they will be prepared this time around for online learning. It won't be like last semester where teachers are kind of like feeling their way through as we're going along. They said these teachers are going to be ready, okay? But I'm going to keep y'all updated. But I think a pro about this whole situation is that you will be able to go back and watch, rewatch lectures or watch them for the first time on your own time. And you can stack classes that um, may occur at the same time. That's a plus and I plan to take advantage of that. And the last thing is a lot of people are not returning to campus, which is the most disheartening part. I won't see a lot of my friends. You know, a lot of the people that I've been through college with, they say they're not coming back. But just seeing how everything's going, I don't know when the next time I'm going to see them is. It's really sad that a lot of people won't even be on campus like usual because that's what makes up the experience. It's the people, really. It's the people and the experiences that you have. And I really wanted to spend my last year on campus because who knows when I'll be back in Ann Arbor after I graduate. Who knows but yeah all in all that's the update that I wanted to get across to you guys yes I am going back to school in the fall I am going back to Ann Arbor in just two weeks so I want you guys to stay tuned um, I'll be doing plenty of apartment hauls I'll be doing some moving vlogs for you guys so yeah I need y'all to stay tuned I want to thank y'all so much for tuning in I really appreciate each and everybody's support make sure you give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video peace